Hello beautiful and welcome to today's video. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we are going to play with some Tarte products. Why are we playing with Tarte products? Because Tarte kits are now ready for order so I decided uh, let me try some things that I already bought from previous Tarte kits and I already had in my collection and help you out and let you know what is worth grabbing and what you should choose from those selections. First thing I have this Tarte Shape Tape Pour and Prime Balm. I have tried this before. I don't like it that much. It's um, a little bit too balmy for me. Um, it is nice as like primer for like your pores, but it is a little bit too balmy for my life. Next thing here, we are going to go with a foundation that I had in my collection for a while that I repurchased that I also do enjoy and this is the found sealer um, with the bra spectrum SPF 20 and this is in light medium neutral 27N. I have not played with this one. I bought it last year and I have not played with it yet. So here we are today. I'm so happy that I'm doing this uh, video so I can actually play with it. I think this color might be a little bit too light, but it's okay, we're gonna make it work. And I do have the Fan Sealer uh, foundation brush that I did grab last year in the kit. And I'm gonna use this one to um, blend my foundation. So a few things about this foundation. This is light to medium coverage. It is a natural finish and it has a smooth, uh, it leaves your face looking smooth and really nice. Um, that keep in mind, this is very lightweight also. So if you're feeling like you want something with a little bit more coverage, I would not recommend this. Of course, this color, it is a little bit too light for me. I don't like the found sealer um, brush. I don't recommend this. Now for under eyes, what I do have, I have this uh, Tarte Double Duty Beauty, the Shape Tape, of course. The Shape Tape I really do like and I really do enjoy. I've been enjoying it for a long time and this has been repurchased in my collection almost every year. This is a, one of those staples that I need to have in my uh, in my collection because this is amazing and it is amazing for those days when I feel like I need extra coverage under my eyes. It works really well for my under eyes. It does not dry my under eyes. It's really nice and I do really like it and I totally recommend it. I do not have a powder from uh, Tarte, but I went ahead and applied uh, this powder on my face from Fit Me in Medium 25 from Maybelline. And for my under eyes, I did just uh, lightly swept uh, an Avian Lighting Powder from Hourglass. Next in here, we have bronzer, we have uh, blush, we have highlighter. And I really do love this blood, this bronzer from Tarte. This is the Hotel Harris. It's really, really nice and beautiful. But I also have this palette. This is Eye and Cheek palette, the Clay Play Must Have. And I have a bronzer in there that I don't remember how it looks. So I think I'm just gonna try it and see how it looks right now. We're gonna go with it. It's says it's called terracotta oh yeah that's not bad that's really nice actually all right and next in here we're gonna try the blush that i see that is called dessert that looks like a nice beautiful color there you go that is pretty and for highlighter they have timber in this one. Oh yeah that is blinding it's 
and it's not emphasizing my texture which I really like now that our face is done we can move on to do the brows the brows I have this um, sample that I received from them and this is the long wear waterproof uh, frameworker brow pomade so I'm using a uh, dark brown and uh, they have a tiny little <laughs> brush and hopefully it's gonna look good I'm gonna speed through this Oh, that really took me no time to do this brow, uh, which is pretty amazing. How the hell? And it's so pigmented and it does not require a lot of product that I am, uh, I am shocked. It's so fast and it looks so good and it looks, it covers a lot and it also looks pretty natural as well so that I like I like this thing and I think they do have uh, they offer it in the kit I would definitely grab this all right next in here we're gonna try the eyeshadow palettes I have two of them I have this one that is called full feels that it looks like this and I also have the one that I was playing with the bronzer and the blush the clay play must have which looks like this and I'm not sure which way I want to go I'm definitely gonna speed through this I'm thinking I might just go with something more of a natural side so let's do it Alright, so after I tried them, I have to say this eyeshadow palette is really nice. The mattes in there are very beautiful. If they blend really nicely, slimmestly, it's a really soft formula. I like it. This one over here, it is okay. It's not as good as the other one. The shimmers are not as uh, crazy I would expect them, so they're not extremely... Uh, powerful they're somewhere like in the middle so if you enjoy something like that that I would go with something this in this uh, that I would go with something like this now for eyeliner I do have this one the men eater from Tarte which is nice and I always play with it um, and it's really easy for me to do a nice wing eyeliner so I'm going to do one today, but I'm going to keep it very simple since this eye look is not a very glamorous one. As you can see, I was able to uh, make a really thin line with that eyeliner. I really do enjoy it. I totally recommend it. Now, the crazy tube of mascara. I have not tried this uh, mascara before so this is gonna be a first time this is the big eagle and i has been waiting in my collection for almost uh, a year to be open first impression with this mascara is not necessarily my cup of tea it is looking nice it's not clumpy or anything like that it gives it a little bit of a curling effect but it's not lengthening it has a really nice volume to it but not lengthening so for me it's mm, I don't know it's not it's too natural for my liking I prefer the lash lights camera 4-in-1 mascara I really like that one so I'd rather recommend that one than this one. Now let's do lips. I do not have an eyeliner, a lip liner from them. So I'm going to really quickly go with Sepia from Wayne Goss. But I do have two lipsticks that we can try. 
lipsticks that I have and I know I really do like and I totally recommend these lipsticks are so good this is the Colada it's really nice I really do enjoy it it has a very nice formula it is hydrating it doesn't look um, like matte but it doesn't look like shiny either somewhere in between it's kind of like a semi matte or like a plush type of look and I really really love the formula very soft very comfortable on the lips extremely beautiful totally recommend this one the other one that I do have is this dual one which this one it is a uh, lip sculpture that has a lipstick and a lip gloss I have mine in VIP and this is how the lipstick looks like this one has a little bit of formula that is a little bit more hydrating and I'm not necessarily always looking for that but this formula it's really pretty and I do really enjoy how it looks now I have a setting spray from them this is the stay spray setting spray It smells like detergent, <laughs> but it is nice. It feels nice. Um, it does actually helps to keep your makeup on. So here's how a full face of Tarte makeup looks on my skin. What I would say what stands out to me the most out of all the things that we've tried there's a couple of things that I completely recommend to grab. The brow product, because this is really, really nice. If you have sparse uh, brows like I do and you need to fill them out on a daily, this pomade is going to help you a lot and it's going to be looking really nice and it's also fuss-free. So, so pretty. The next thing that stands out to me is this um, eyeshadow palette or anything like clay. I would totally recommend to go with this. I think they have an eyeshadow palette that is a smaller one that is a clay matte eyeshadow palette. Go with it because it is going to help you tremendously and it looks amazing. It's very easy to blend. I think that is a daily, daily uh, must have in my opinion. This bronzer is gorgeous and beautiful. I know I have not put it on today, but I've tried it in multiple other videos and it's really nice and I truly, truly recommend it. Um, the lipstick, this one, amazing. Go ahead and buy this. I think I might just order myself a kit as well, but you're going to have to stay tuned to see what I actually do grab from this and also another one it is this beautiful liner from men eater i really do enjoy this one it's very easy for me to create a liner even if i want a, a slimmer one or a little bit more um, bigger one right of course the shape tape is always going to be in my collection and i really do enjoy it some of the things the letdowns it's going to be this brush do not you don't need it don't grab it it's no just move on <laughs> fast forward the big eagle mm, it's okay not my speed not mm, i would not recommend it this one i would only recommend it if you like lightweight and also like average that's how this is this is make sure you look at their pictures to compare with your skin tone because can be a little bit interesting um i also would not recommend this one uh either it's nice it's cool but it's not necessarily an eyeshadow palette that is gonna it's gonna bring anything new to your collection all right that is it this is all i have for you today thank you so so much for watching today all right, well, this is all I have for you today. Don't forget, we do have a giveaway running right now. So don't uh, check that description bar to see what you need to do to be able to participate. Um, also, I have to say I am super excited that we are 216 over here. I am trying very hardly to get to a 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please try to... Consider subscribe to this channel if you enjoy videos like this ones. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this helped you to create your own target. I will see you all next time. Bye now.